Hey guys, good morning. How's it going? It is winter again in West Branch. It was almost 60 degrees two days ago, and today it snowed and stuck. So we are heading south again, as always, to go to the Saginaw Spirit uh, end of the year banquet. Go yeah. to the players one last time. Yes, I'm after he grows up, they're going to be my big too. Yeah. The boys' banquet is next weekend, so we're going to that as well. But today we're going to see the Spirit Players one last time, go see Will and uh, Connor for the last time, and uh, yeah, go hang out with those guys. Last year it wasn't a super exciting thing, but it's still kind of cool to go to and support the players. So let's go do that, and then I don't know what else we're doing. Maybe stick around in town for a couple minutes and then come home, and really exciting day, right? Yeah. I think that hopefully the snow will be gone by the time we get home. Hopefully. Because hopefully it'll warm up a little bit. Yeah, so that's our day. We're going to go right down here. Yeah, we'll go sit right behind them. Come on. Look behind you. Who's behind you? Look who's behind you. <laughs> Chocolate? <laughs> you like chocolate? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's from Georgetown, Ontario. And his only job career he played only 275 games. Uh, he had 63 goals, 47 assists. Uh, his ability to lead on and off the ice uh, was rewarded as he was named captain of the spirit in September 2015. He leads by half. Look at our mission statement. Uh, as part of that mission statement, it says developing the premier athletes and the successful people committed to excellence on and off the ice. Well, this guy exemplifies a career athlete. He exemplifies committed excellence on and off the ice. And he certainly is the poster boy of that part of our mission system. Please welcome to the stage our over age captain, Captain Connor Parker. Well, guys, uh, I just want to say thanks for all your support. Uh, my last two years here have been, uh, been amazing. Um, you know, I've had a lot of fun, and now I'm happy uh, I was able to finish off my uh, gym career in San Diego. Um, boys, thanks for everything. You know, I've, I've, uh, I've grown a lot of friendships with all of you, and you know, uh, some of them I'll never forget, and some I wish I could, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, you know, it's crazy how fast time flies, and, um, being able to, uh, to spend my last year with, uh, with these guys in, in the city of Saginaw, uh, I was really happy to. And, and from, uh, from my family's perspective, uh, you know, we, we can't thank you guys enough for all, all you've done for me. So uh, I just want to say thanks and I uh, hope to see all you guys soon. Thanks. This next guy, he's a World Cup champion. He was part of the Oxford Generals uh, last year in the 14-15 World Cup. He's from uh, Ottawa, Ontario. He played over 260 games in the OHL. He had over 63 uh, uh, points in total, a total of 258 penalty minutes. Uh, he has a fantastic reputation for being a good person. Uh, but what's even more important is that he has a very strong character. Uh, legendary UCLA basketball coach John Whitman uh, said reputation is important because it's what other people think that you are. But character is more important because character encompasses the things that you do every day that make you what you are. And this guy has impeccable, impeccable character. Please welcome overage assistant captain, overage Will Petson. Well, well, thank you. Uh, my time here was short and sad. I was in here for. Uh, about eight months or so, and I uh, moved into a family, the Weeby family, and they've been the best adults that I could ever ask for, and I can't thank them enough, so thank you for being uh, so awesome to me. Uh, I'll have two little brothers that I've always wanted, and I'm so lucky to call them my brothers, so thank you for that. Uh, to the boys, uh, i got a lot of good memories here. Davies, uh, I'm a rookie, your last name is Schmaby, so. Uh, yeah, I'll have fun memories with you guys. I wish you the best luck in all your futures, and for the city and fans of Saginaw, I appreciate everything you guys have uh, done for the team and for myself. All the support you guys have given us, so thank you for everything and best of luck. Well, a few years ago, on October 2013, Will 
professor who lost his father, Dan. Uh, Dan was a professional football player playing in the Canadian Football League. This year, Will wore number 65, because that was the number that his dad wore in the Canadian Football League. Uh, as you know, we both decided he wanted to do something that, uh, that would honor his dad this year. Uh, so he, along with the help of Charlie Porter, uh, she's taking photos here in the red dress. Uh, Charlie uh, and, and uh, who was certainly encouraging of Will to start Will's Warriors project and the project of a heart like mine. The heart like mine project is all about helping other kids that have lost a mom or a dad or a close loved one that has experienced a similar, similar pain that Will experiences every day. He decided to honor his dad by helping kids that unfortunately share a common bond with him. Uh, he's invited these kids to share their VIP experience at a spirit game, but other than that, not just the spirit games, but he also took them to dinner, took them to the movies, uh, all kinds of different things that Will did with these kids. And certainly our franchise will be nominating him to the OHL for the Humanitarian of the Year Award. Uh, certainly there is no question he deserves that, and uh, that's going to be nominated to him. But, uh, Will, we also want to let you know, Will Cantor also said he wanted to keep this Will's Warriors project going to Heart Like Mine. And uh, I spoke to Nick Garber about this, and what we decided to do is we decided to uh, seed the fun, uh, a fund for you. Uh, we're starting it out with $1,500. Uh, it'll be here in Saginaw. Uh, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to carry on the tradition that you started here in Saginaw. And we're going to do some things here and here to, to increase that fund so we got more money for those kids. So then that you can then appoint, what Will wants to do is he'd like to appoint another player here that would take that and continue that program right on down each year. And we're hoping to do that through our foundation so that each year, uh, Will's Warriors are like mine, continues to grow and grow and grow. And then 15, 20 years from now, we still got this thing going and Will Petscher comes back and be a big part of it. So Will, congratulations, we want to give you that next year. Um, well, obviously it's an unfortunate bond that I share with the kids and uh, having a fun night out is something that some kids uh, need sometimes. Uh, seeing some smiles on their faces or things like, I just had the best night of my life and it really made me feel good about myself. I enjoy seeing other kids happy, so uh, it was a lot of fun this year. I also have 16 friends that I didn't think I'd have when I came to SAG, but I can't thank Charlie enough for all her support and help with this. I couldn't do it without her, so thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to keeping this thing going and uh, it's been a big impact on my life and uh, helping healthy kids is a pretty fun thing to do. So thank you everyone for your support. So our first award is the Academic Recognition Award. Uh, this player you know, did everything that you need to do as a student, student athlete at Heritage High School. Um, great, 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 great person in the community in school. Um, did everything we asked for for the Academic Player of the Month at this point this year as well. Um, I'd like to give that to Brady Young. Thanks, Chris. This is really good to do up there. Can't thank her enough for what she does, so thanks, Deuce. And it's time to present our second award of the night. Uh, this award goes to uh, certainly a well received uh, recipient. Uh, he obviously, for many reasons that you just saw on the board, um, he is a perfect candidate for this award. Our community Service Award for the 2015 16 season goes to Will Patrick. <laughs> uh, Toby, Doc, and Jared, thanks for everything you guys do. You guys have done some years of the same last year, so we appreciate everything you guys do for us, and thank you again.
Our next award goes to the most improved player in the Saginaw Spirit this year, Chris Bennett. Chris. Yeah, I just wanted to get one here. Uh, fans, my billet, uh, my shark diner. Um, all the boys and uh, all the coaches, uh, big and big and big. I want to thank the folks who uh, worked with me lately with the shoulder, Doc, here. And uh, I especially want to thank Chris, just working with me uh, before and after practice every day. The most passionate guy I've ever met. And I uh, just want to thank you a lot. Thank you. Our next award uh, is the fan favorite award, and this player, I'm not sure you touched um, more lives than uh, any other of our players this year, but uh, when it comes to Will's Warrior, the whole nine yards, I mean, Will is just uh, fantastic this year on and off the ice, and our fan favorite is Will Penn. Uh, I don't have any other things to say, but uh, just thank you everyone for making this year special. Our next award is the Best Defenseman Award. He's tall, he's good. Marcus Timolainen. Marcus! Uh, just thank you for everything. It's time for our Redmond Player Leadership Award, and uh, what better uh, recipient than the captain of the hockey club over a year, Connor Trevor. Uh, I just want to say thanks to uh, Drinks and uh, the coaching staff for giving, giving me the opportunity to lead this team. And you know, I hope uh, my leadership skills kind of go down the line and guys like uh, you know, Gilly and Gilly have a better. So, you know, uh, thanks a lot for, uh, for everything this year, guys. I uh, just need to give a shout out to uh, Colby Blosser. Thanks for all you did with Jay Rock and uh, Doc. Thank you very much. Our next award is the Most Valuable Player. This goes to one of the finest parts I've ever met. And I know his dad is smiling down on the young man he turned out to be. Will you me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My name is Steve Harvey. <laughs> Right, now let me tell you this, the remarks about Will are true, and he is a great young man. But this year's most valuable player goes to Mitchell Stevens. And it's time now for our BB Score Award. And uh, I think this player uh, really, really came into his own this year. And the second year in the OHL, show, our BB Score Award goes to Art and Art. Oh, Charlie called you up. 
Yes. Have a good summer, guys. Yeah. How you doing? Go see Will. Oh, that's it. All that chocolate. <laughs> you guys got something for Will? Thanks, buddy. Cool. <laughs> Is that your hand? That's so cool, buddy. It's your brother's hand. Yeah. No, that's you, kiddo. <laughs> Who's that? We can take it out there. Who's that girl? She's scared. <laughs> I made the cut. <laughs> you made the cut. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Charlie, did you feel like you had eyes on you the entire time? <laughs> I think you were the only thing that kept him awake. He was starting, we were starting to lose him. No. <laughs> so, just a couple days ago, we were uh, enjoying nice warm weather. And now, that's no weather! Yeah, now it's snowing. Yeah! This is ridiculous. Whoa. Look at all the snow. We got a couple inches of snow. We're supposed to get three to four inches. It's ridiculous. You guys shoveling? You don't have to shovel out here. The pavement's not, or the concrete's not getting, keeping snow. Should be a good packing snow though. Make a good snowball with that stuff. Yeah, he's not playing that game, Ethan. Not playing game. I'm not playing. Don't get in my face. You done, Bell? Okay, just sent the boys out to try and wake him up because they were sleeping, and then they won't be able to sleep for bedtime. Whoa, blizzard! And I'm going back in the house. Have fun. That's it. Season's over. Spirit lose six to four. Almost had it. They were down by one.